If you're getting into bird watching, then the first piece of kit you're going to need is a pair of binoculars, but it won't be long before you're after a telescope. And if you have a scope, then you definitely need a tripod. Now, it never ceases to amaze me how often I see people with really quite expensive scopes sitting on top of really quite ropey tripods. And a telescope is as good as its stability. To be honest with you, I tend to use uh, two different tripods with my scope, depending on the application. If I'm traveling overseas, especially, and I'm traveling light, then this little beauty from Gitso is just a job. It's very, very light indeed, carbon fiber legs, and this tiny little head's got a very fluid action. And what I do like about it is it's got a single pan tilt lock. So I just turn that to lock, and it's locked off, loosen it, nice smooth action. Because it is so light, there is a little bit of flex in it. And in a strong wind, it really isn't the man for the job. And so if I'm not so concerned about the overall weight, I prefer using this man fronter. So let me tell you, why I like this Manfrotto setup for my scope. First of all, this is actually quite a new head. It's the 500AH. And Manfrotto have come up with this neat little innovation. If I turn it around, you see that lever? It's a quick release clip so that I can put the scope or any other piece of kit, camera, if I want to, on the head and it's on. Just one twist and it's secure. In fact, it's secure. It won't fall off even if it's loose because of the little built-in stop. It's got a, a very smooth movement. Again, that's not so important for a scope, but it's nice and it can double as a, as a photographic head as well. And to that end, it also has a spirit level. I've got it mounted on these legs with a central strut, and that's for a very good reason, which will become apparent when I get into a hide. Public hides, like this one on the Somerset Wildlife Trust Reserve at West Hay, are a great place to sit and wait with your binoculars and your scope. Trouble is, trying to put a tripod up in a public hide can be a bit of a pain, to be honest with you, because you've got to get quite low, like this, and then of course, that means your scope is all the way back here and you're blocking the view. Well, at least you're blocking the path for everybody. Not ideal. But Manfrotto have come up with a solution and it's perfect. Let me show you. This is a hide clamp. Does what it says on the box. Clamps to hides, perfect for public hides. Of course, you can clamp it to anything. You can clamp it to a post, you can clamp it to a table, but it's ideal for this situation. And it works with the central pillar from the 055 CX3 legs, any of the Manfrotto tripods with a central pillar. They've come up with this neat little easy clip off base. So that makes it super easy to take the central pillar out. Make sure I don't bash it into the ceiling. Slip it in there. Look at what we've got. We've got a telescope working in a hide. It means I can put the legs to one side and not trip anyone else up. Not even me. 